Hello, Trump Skiller drummer Fred Salen here. Hope everybody's keeping well. Right, today we're going to look at two ways to play a great fill that is commonly called the tumble dryer. <laughs> Alright, here's the second way we can do it. Alright, so a couple of different approaches to playing uh, that uh, tumble dryer fill. I think it's safe to say that it's kind of based on the Herta sticking pattern. Uh, and uh, certainly in the second one that I played, if you think about it, like a bar of eighth note triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of those triplets, going to cut the middle note in half, uh, give us two sixteenths, two semi-quavers, right in the middle of that triplet, so it's going to sound like this. So that's why I'm saying it's like that hurt idea. But of course, we're not just keeping it on the snare drum, we're moving it out around the drums and incorporating the bass drum. However, a good place to start with this, uh, whenever you're working on it, is to start with the bass drum and just play triplets, simple triplets between your bass drum and the snare drum. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And keep that going for a while until you get used to that. Obviously, if you're an advanced player, that'll be dead. Uh, simple, straightforward for you. If you're not and you're working on this for the first time, you know, that's a good place to start. All right, then the next stage is keep it on the snare drum still. Do what I was doing earlier, but put the note on the bass drum. So here we go. Really important to keep that bass drum on the beat. One, two. Don't compensate. In other words, don't allow that to wobble about, you know, because then you'll lose the shape of the, of the fill. All right, so keep those on the beat. All right. All right, so the second stage is to move uh, those semi-quavers onto the toms. Make sure you keep the bass drum on the beat. One, two, three, four. All right, they are short, okay? Short semi-quavers, keeping the bass drum on the beat will help to keep those in the right place, keep them nice and short, all right? So then you can put it together, just try it slowly. Okay, so you've still got that nice sort of triplet form there. Uh, your uh, two semi-quavers in the middle of the uh, the first and the third uh, triplet are coming across nice. And again, keep the bass drum on the beat to keep the whole shape uh, of the uh, uh, the fill uh, sound, sounding really good. All right, and the final stage is to have a bit of fun with that. So get your funky kind of shuffle groove going. Here we go. All right, so obviously I've been basing that on the uh, the second way that I played it, starting on the bass drum. But at the very top of the lesson, uh, I played an example where we're starting the snare drum. All right, and to all intents and purposes, that's really the only difference. I think the easiest way to interpret this, and if you see it uh, in a drum book, uh, hopefully uh, they'll have written it out like this. So eighth note triplets with the uh, the middle note and a couple of uh, the, the triplet figures being cut in half, and you've got your semi quavers. It could potentially, I suppose, be written out as a six triplet. All right, so they would be semi quaver. Uh, notes and then the two shorter notes are going to be demi semi quavers but essentially 
I think the feel and the whole way to play it is going to be is going to be the same. So hope you have fun with both of those. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, again, I'd be really grateful for a thumbs up. I'd be really grateful if you haven't already subscribed to my channel to consider doing that. And I'd also I'd be really grateful if you consider subscribing to my Buy Me a Coffee channel. It's growing all the time. My YouTube channel has only been around for less than a year, and I'm getting some great comments and some great feedback. And I'm really really grateful uh, for all of that so thanks very much indeed for watching look forward to seeing you on the next video take care bye Hi drummers, it's Alan here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Plus, hit the links to become a Belfast Drum Channel member and get access to extra full rated lessons up to the professional level. Thanks so much again and bye for now.